Welcome friends, it's Ray. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm participating in a, a hop over on Instagram. It's the Rediscover Your Supplies hop. And I thought this would be fun because often we have tons of uh, supplies and tools in our stash that we don't always get to use. Uh, or make time to use. So um, I wanted to do this to encourage everyone to use, go back in their stash, look through it, pull out stuff that you haven't used in years. Uh, and I'm going to start weeding out stuff myself, stuff that uh, as I go back, stuff that I won't use, uh, I am going to get rid of it. My card today is an A7 5x7 card. I'm going to use this stencil set by Pink Fresh Studios. It's slimline skinny plaid and there are two pieces. I'm going to take stencil number two and just spray it a bit with pixie spray. I love keeping pixie spray on hand uh, because it's a low tack adhesive and allows me to keep my stencils in place on my cardstock without magnets or taping them down. Next I'm going to bring in my 5x7 uh, 60 pound weight white uh, cardstock. So here I go ahead and place my stencil um, on my 5x7 cardstock uh, at an angle. How many colors does it take to make a rainbow? Yes, we're making a rainbow card today. That is our theme for the Rediscovery Hop. I'm bringing in my red uh, Festive Berries Distress Oxide ink and blending that on my panel through my stencil and then bringing in my yellow squeezed lemonade and where they meet I am blending them to get my orange then I bring in my blue salty ocean and where it meets my squeezed lemonade I get green then I'm bringing in my seedless preserves and then I'm starting the process over again technically it only takes three colors red yellow and blue um, to make all of the colors in the rainbow but I'm gonna cheat and just brought out my seedless preserves because I like the color of that uh, but if you have uh, red, yellow, and blue, um, you can make orange from red and yellow. You can make uh, green from blue and yellow. And then blue and red will make your purple. So if you're limited in, in colors that you have, um, make sure you include uh, those three colors in your stash. Uh, but hopefully they're already there because we're trying to use things we have in our stash. But if you're new to card making, uh, just maybe take note of that. So here I'm applying some um, strips of 1 6 inch post-it note tape and um, then placing some post-it note paper. Uh, that uh, I had over to the side that I've used before. I'm going to reuse it. And I'm placing that uh, on top of my um, uh, post-it note tape just so that I don't get any ink on either side of the post-it note tape. I'm starting, I've started with the colors that are on my table uh, at the top, starting with red and just working my way down. Uh, I've removed my stencil and now am uh, coloring over top the post-it note strips uh, just to add a little more interest to my panel. And I love the great reveal. So let's remove the uh, post-it note uh, 
tape and you'll see those crisp white lines. So I'm just uh, going with a geometric design today. About a blast from the past, I am using an old A7 waffle flower uh, die uh, frame set and bringing in one with the scallop design and using my purple tape to tape this down and then we'll just run this through my die cutting machine. And I pulled out my floral poppy set from Hero Arts um, and I've already stamped and um, heat embossed it onto 120 pound accent opaque paper and now I'm bringing in my Spectrum Noir markers um, and coloring um, the flower using a, the purple blend and the pink violet blend. I use both of those uh, on my flower. And then for the leaves, I'm going to use the light green blend and the alpine green blend. And then uh, you will see that I bring in my white white uh, gel pen to um, erase the areas where I color outside of the line. So I guess it's not really erasing. It's, it's coloring white over top, the areas where I've blended outside of the lines and I'm kind of messy that way, so I've got to cover up quite a bit uh, when I'm done, but wanted to leave this in so that you could see that technique. After I get the um, portions of the petals colored on all of my images, I come back in with my uh, green from the light green blend uh, marker and just color everything in green and then I will come back and use the Alpine uh, to uh, do my highlights. I am not very good at um, coloring uh, but I keep trying because I know the more I um, the, the more I use this medium the better I will get at it. So if you are new to coloring or just aren't a good colorist, um, just keep at it, keep practicing. I did um, either speed up or cut out a lot of the coloring because some parts are redundant. But after I'm done, I'm going to cut my images out with my scan and cut. Here I placed my a scrap piece of black cardstock in my MISTI, prepped it with my anti-static powder tool for heat embossing, and using my unicorn white pigment ink uh, to stamp. Uh, this is a sentiment from an old Hero Arts uh, Unity uh, stamp set called Empower. So I'm applying my alabaster white embossing powder um, and then using my dry paintbrush to remove that embossing powder from areas that I don't want it in. And then I'm just going to just put this right back in my jar. If you don't have unicorn white pigment ink, you can use any white pig pigment ink you have. Uh, but you can also use the Versamar clear embossing ink, which I tend to use most of the time. So here I'm fussy cutting out uh, with my old cutter bee scissors, yay! Fussy cutting out my sentiment. Um, sorry I forgot to turn my camera on. I did also run my panel uh, through my embossing folder. It's an old Cuddlebug uh, Swiss Dots folder. And then that uh, added a little more interest to my card panel. And here I have added um, um, here I have added uh, foam tape to the back. And then using my mono sand eraser to remove uh, just some unwanted embossing powder from my sentiment before I pop that on foam, up on foam squares. I don't have a lot of rainbow images in my stash, so when I think rainbows, I typically will think 
colors. Uh, let me know in the comments which colors you like using to make your rainbow designs. So which color inks and maybe which brand of inks. I tend to use Distress Oxides or Distress Inks more than other brands because that's what I have in my stash. And here I am partially releasing the release paper from my foam tape. Um, because what I like to do now is partially release and then add some craft tacky glue to the exposed areas and then that's going to give me more wiggle room in terms of lining up my panel on my uh, card base or you know if you're putting this on a mat. So here I am adding this to my uh, card panel and before I press down and commit I will wiggle and reposition this to get it just so on my card base then I will remove the remaining release paper. So now that I have uh, my panel on my card base, I'm going to go ahead and position my poppy flowers where I want them. And then I will use craft tacky glue to affix them to my card uh, front. And um, turns out that I only use two of them. And then, uh, you know, just, uh, First, add liquid adhesive to secure them together and then we'll cut, trim off the exposed edges um, and then can glue this to my panel. I'm going to um, use my uh, reverse tweezers uh, to hold this and apply my uh, tacky glue and then just press, give that a good press on my card panel or card front and add my acrylic block to apply more pressure and make sure it adheres. And then I am placing my sentiment down below uh, my florals as if it were a vase. And that finishes this card. Well, one more thing. I add some um, um, sequins from an old uh, stamping for less, no, scrapping for less kit and uh, affix those uh, on my panel, three of them in a triangular um, order uh, just to add more interest. And that's it for this card. Be sure you go over to Instagram and hop along with all of my crafty friends uh, to see what they create for this rainbow theme. Use the hashtag re pound rediscover your supplies uh, so that you can uh, be sure to stop by everybody on the hop. There are two days of hopping, today Saturday and then tomorrow Sunday. I will leave this link in the description bar below. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until next time, good day friends.